The Mummers Parade, a Philadelphia tradition since the late 1800s. The grand street spectacle of sight and sound has been entertaining parade goers and television viewers of all ages for generations. Being from South Philadelphia and Mummers is kind of in your blood. Mummers is a part of my life. We don't get paid for this, we do this for the fun of it. It's a way of life and you have to really be dedicated, but it's also you know, worth all the dedication that you put into it. For well over 100 years, the city of Philadelphia has had what I and many others considered some of the best entertainment that you can find in this country on New Year's Day. The club's divided up between non-playing members, which are marshals, and also uh, music playing members. It's all blue collar, white collar workers. They don't, they're not, no professionals are allowed to be in it. And it's just everyday people doing what they love, playing music. The elaborate props, the beauty and color of the costumes, and the sweet sounds of music captivate the audience to this day. But how much work does it take to be a mummer? What type of dedication do these special people have to their hobby? And what effort does it take to turn an ordinary Philadelphia intersection into a grand stage? It's what they do the whole year that really makes them mummers. It's what they do in addition to New Year's Day that makes them truly special. The life of a mummer goes on well beyond Broad Street. We do put a lot of time, effort, and emotion into what we're trying to accomplish, both in the parades throughout the year and in the competition that we do on New Year's Day. The prep work for New Year's Day starts probably the week after the parade ended. Midsummer and on, start handing out New Year's music, whether or not it's the score or a street song, and you know, break it down. Um, we do sectionals where it would be the banjos or the drummers or the bottom section. Um, one by one in their groups, you know, perfecting what you see on New Year's Day. Drill starts in September and starts all over again in January. We parade, we do concerts, we do weddings, we do uh, all, all shows throughout the year just to make, make some kind of funds to pay for our costume. Avalon, in particular, has gone to Italy, Ireland a few times, played uh, for pr uh, President Clinton's inaugural parade. I have had the pleasure to do that. And the majority of the money that we do make goes in, into the costumes. Themes have cost $120,000, all the way to the low end, which would be $60,000. We have a sketch artist who designs the costumes. He comes to several meetings. Here's the ideas that we want to portray with a given theme that we're looking at. Um, he takes it back and then kind of sketches it out um, with colors and designs what he thinks um, the show could look like. And we give that to a professional costumer. Uh, that professional costumer will then put all the suits together and get uh, the product that you see on New Year's Day. Jack He, a great yet modest captain, would never boast of his impressive three consecutive second prize captain's finishes in 2011, 12, and 13. The captain's role is to direct the judges to what the band as a group is doing. It's just a continuation to add to the um, flavor of the, the entire band show. But at the end of the day, we're all one team. I'd rather have the band do well than the captain do well. In the band, I'm a sax player. I've been playing sax for almost 30 years now. I've been in Avalon for 14 of those years. I've been doing mummers all together for 26, 27 years. At this point in my life, I don't see mummers not being in it. Five years ago, I made the choice to become an executive or run for a board position. You know, I kind of solidified my feet. I, I want to not just see the Avalon stream band succeed, but mummery in general to succeed. Real quick. Um, actual rehearsal. Have your attention, please. Actual rehearsal. Really good rehearsal. Um, the board met last night. Uh, voted on new vice president, which is Mike Lafferty. We do have a job this upcoming Sunday. 
Israel Parade. Um, meeting at the club, 1045, leave, club, parade starts at 12. I had a friend in the Mummers and string bands and uh, asked me to come down and I was just supposed to come down and help and uh, turned into a life of, uh, you know, playing the saxophone and having a good time. The, one of the best things is the family. You know, you, you have kids in it and I have a son and he, he followed in my footsteps and played the sax and it just, uh, it's, it's pretty cool, you know, to be able to do that with your kids, you know. My parents, my brother, we're all a part of this, my extended family. Um, my son is now a part of this with me. It's a part of all my, some of my best friends, you know, godparents to my children, are all people that I met through this hobby. For at least us, the most memorable thing that I can ever think of would be when you start to need a fallen brother or you visit somebody in the hospital. Um, unfortunately, since I've been in the band, I've been to numerous ones, and they stick with you and it's the ultimate tribute um, for someone who takes part in this hobby that we call it and loves it. Um, it really means something that, you know, not only do you, you go out of your way to celebrate the life of somebody, but you serenade that person. This entire performance, this entire day has been dedicated to our dear friend, our dear brother, Michael Kubiak, who left us all too suddenly later on this year. and. Um, our hearts go out to his family and friends and to all the membership. We did it for you, pal. It is all these things and more that make the Mummers tradition a great one. From the family involvement to the friendships and camaraderie, the Mummers go way beyond Broad Street. The people I've met in Mummers and the people that I'm friends with in Mummers are friends for life. When you spend as much time as we do doing this, yet we're not paid, but to say that it's a hobby, I think, kind of cheapens it. You meet your friends and you meet other clubs and you, you know, grab a drink or two and you play music for the people that come down to see it. It's, it's a good time. If you haven't been there, I recommend you highly come down and check it out. The right people in place, we can keep this going for another hundred years.